Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on engineering science and three working on uh, motion, power and energy. We have the question from uh, July 2017 that we are going to work on, uh, on motion, uh, power and energy. So the first part we are given on question number one was to define the speed of an object. Okay, what is the speed of an object so the speed is actually the rate of change of distance so this is just the rate of change the rate of change of distance all right that is uh uh the speed if it is velocity the rate of change of displacement and is measured in meters per second this speed uh all right uh on 1.2 we are given that a vehicle with a mass of 200 kgs moves at uh 21 meters per second on the horizontal plane so take note this is on the horizontal plane then uh the brakes are applied and the vehicle comes to to rest over a distance of 60 meters all right so in this case uh, let's just have our information this is on a horizontal plane which means we do not have any angle that we are going to apply in this case. All right, so this vehicle that we have, it is given its mass 200 kgs, moving at 21 meters per second, which is the initial velocity of 21 meters per second. So we've got uh, the mass in this case, uh, that was 200 kgs, then the initial velocity of that uh, vehicle, uh, that was uh, 21 meters per second, which is, uh, all right, uh then the brakes when they are applied it comes to rest which means the final velocity when it is at rest that is where we have our final velocity which is at what which is at zero meters per second so our v representing final velocity is going to be at zero meters per second there is no movement at all so that will be at zero we are given the distance which we can just represent by S in this case, uh, the distance of 60 uh, meters. Okay, so that is the information that we are given. The first part of the question is to calculate the deceleration. Uh, in this case, then uh, we are asked about the braking force and so forth. Okay, so the deceleration, we, uh, we can use formulas where we have got uh, acceleration in, in the formula because this is under linear motion, it's a straight line. So remember that we have got a V, which is equal to U plus 80. Uh, we also have V squared, which is equal to U squared plus 2AS. We have U, which is equal to S, which is equal to U plus V over 2, uh, everything times the time. We have S, which is equal to UT plus half AT squared. So any formula as long it has the information that we, we we need from that formula we can calculate that deceleration which is our a all right so the first one we do not have time so it's impossible for us to use the first one the second one we have got v we have got u we have got s so which means we can use this uh, second formula so that is we can use the second formula to calculate uh, a in this case. So we are given that V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. So you can substitute your values or you can simply make A the subject. We can transpose uh, U to this side. That is going to be V squared minus U squared, which is equal to 2AS. So to remain with A, we can divide by 2S both sides uh, that means 2 and 2 will cancel, A and A will cancel. So we have the acceleration, which is uh, uh, going to be V squared minus U squared over 2S. So for a consideration of a deceleration, it means your acceleration is a negative in that condition. Okay, so let's substitute our values and see what's going to happen in this case. So A is equal to V. Remember your V, that's a zero here. So that's zero squared minus U, which is 21. So that's 21 squared, everything over two times S. So this is two times S, which is our displacement of uh, 60 meters. All right, so we can have our A. Uh, so from this, we are going to obtain a negative 
which is negative 3,675 uh, in meters per square second like that. All right, so that was our uh, solution in this case. All right, so you have to be very, very careful. List down your information, the data that you're given, the formulas which are important from the formula sheet, the one that you're given. Then the other part is to calculate now the breaking force. So the breaking force, there must be an acceleration in order for us to have the breaking force. And it must be, uh, I mean, it must be a deceleration force we are breaking. So this acceleration that we are talking about is actually the deceleration. So meaning to say, we are going to use the force from what? From this uh, deceleration because we are breaking. So it's like a accelerating force. We use that acceleration when it is what? Accelerating. So it's the same thing with the breaking force uh, in this case. All right. So this is uh, 1.22. So that means our breaking force uh, or uh, that is a breaking in this case is going to be uh, the force. Uh, that is the mass by the what? The deceleration that you are given, which is uh, A. So we are given the mass in this case of 200 kgs. Remember, force mass times acceleration, but it's a deceleration in this case. So this is going to be 200 times the deceleration, which is our acceleration, the negative 3,67. So if we are to multiply, this is going to be negative 3,75 in, in newtons. So the negative is to show that truly it's a breaking force that uh, we are having a deceleration on that consideration. So that is why we are having a negative on our final answer there, okay? So do not worry about that one, okay? The time taken to bring the vehicle to rest, okay? So what was the time that was taken to bring the vehicle to rest? So we can... Uh, from the information that we are given, uh, find a formula that we can use where we have got time in this case with this information. Okay, so this is the time needed. So you can have it 1.23. So you have to calculate time in this case. All right, um, we can hear from this boss. Now we have got A in this case. So you can use this formula here. V is equal to U plus A T. There are so many formulas you can even use this one where we are given S is equal to U plus V because we've got U and V. So you can even use the second one. Uh, so, so many formulas that you can actually uh, apply in this case. All right. So uh, using the first formula, I have V, which is equal to U plus AT in this case. All right. Where I can just make A the subject or I can just transpose my V which is zero in this case is equal to u, which is 21 plus 80. In this case, our a is the negative three comma that we got that time, which is negative three comma uh, six, seven, five times t like this. All right. So we can transpose the 21 to this side, or we can transpose the negative three to this side so that it can be a positive. So it's going to be three comma six, seven, five t which is equal to 21. So you can divide by 3,675 both sides by 3,675 both sides. So we can have our value for T in this case. All right. So T is going to be 5 comma. So you're going to have something like uh, 5 comma 71428. So it's going to be 714 in seconds. Remember time is measured in, in seconds. All right. So like I said, we can also, we could have used this one uh, from S here, from this formula. Let's see what you're going to have from this. S is equal to U plus V over T. So from this formula, S is equal to U plus V over, over 2 times T. We can calculate T because we are given S, which is 60, is equal to U which is 21 in this case. So this is 21 plus V, which is a zero in this case over two, uh, whatever that we get in this case, we multiply by T. All right, so we can simplify this 60 is equal to 21 plus zero, that's 21 over two T. So you can just divide by 21 over T both sides in this case to determine uh, the value for T. 
So our T is going to be, all right, so let's see. Uh, if we are to use a calculator direct, in this case, I just want you to see. So let me put the calculator here so that you can all see. All right, so this is going to be 60. You divide it this way. You can just even put it this way, put a bracket. That's 21 over two. So you are dividing by 21 over two like this. All right, so this is going to give us 40 over seven, which is five comma seven one four two eight and so forth which is the same five comma seven one four so this is going to give us five comma seven one four in seconds so you can use any formula that as long the formula that you are using is having the required the information that you are given or the data that you are given and the later that is needed or the what you asked to be to calculate as long everything is there then you can use that formula all right so uh that is what we could have done in this case to obtain six marks from question 1.2 on 1.3 we are now given uh that a pulley is driven so you're given a pulley in this case which is driven at 800 revs per minute by a flat belt moving at uh 15 meters per second which is the speed of the belt uh all right so this is what we have in this case so we are going to just take the information so uh the pull is driven at which is the speed uh of the pull in this case in what in the revs per minute all right so we're given n in this case we can just list that's 1.3 so on 1.3 we are given n in revs per minute uh that is 850 uh in revs per per minute also from this pool, you are given that uh, by a flat belt, which has got a speed of 15 meters per second. So this is the speed of the belt V, which is equivalent to 15 meters per second. Uh, and so the tension in the tight side of the belt is, we are given the tension of the tight side, which is T1. Remember the tight side, that's your T1 in this case, which is 520 Newton. And the tension ratio or the tight to the slack side in this case, we remember the slack side that is your T2. So we are given T1 as two T2 in this case, the tight side to the slack side. Remember we said tight, tight side is T1. So we are given T1 as two T2, which is eight as to three. So from this ratio, we can even play around this ratio T1 as to T2 which is equal to, okay, this T1 as to 2, uh, T2 was given as 8 as to 3. So you can even write it as a fraction T1 over T2, like this is equal to T1, it's 8, uh, T2 is 3, so it's going to be 8 over 3. So you can play around with the ratio that you are given. You can play around uh, whatever way that you want. Okay, so that is the information that you're given. The first part is to calculate uh, the tension in the slack side that is on 1.31, the tension in this slack side that is our T2. So you can calculate T2 since we are given T1 and we are also given the ratio between these two. So that is uh, 1.31. Okay, 1.31. So from T2, uh, T1 over T2, sorry, from T1 over T2, which is equal to 8 over 3. We have T1 in this case, which is 520. So that means 520 over T2 is equal to 8 over 3, which can help us to calculate uh, the value of what? Of T2 by cross multiplying. So we can cross multiply T2 times 8. That's 8T2, which is equal to 3 times uh, 520 so you're going to multiply 3 to 500 that is your cross multiplication so you can divide by 8 both sides so that we can have the value for for t2 in this case all right so finding the value for t2 this is going to be uh 500 520 times 3 actually divided to 8 just combine everything at once this is going to give you 195 newton so that's your T2 in this case. All right. So that was the question to calculate uh, T2, that is the slack side. Then we are now given on 1.32 to calculate the effective force of the tension. Remember, the effective force is the difference between T1 and T2. All right. So 
we can find the effective uh, force in this case or the effective uh, tension in this case. All right. So you can write as Te, which is equivalent to T1 minus T2. That is T1, 520 minus T2, which is 195. All right. So you can have our effective tension or the effective force of 325 uh, newton in this case. All right. Uh, so that was uh, the part of the question. Then the other part is now to calculate the power transferred on 1.33, the power transferred in kilowatts. All right. So this was a straightforward question. It's giving us in stages, you are asked to calculate T2, the effective tension, now the power. Remember, power is, is taken from what? The effective tension uh, versus the speed of the, the, the belt in this case. So that is going to give us uh, the power. Uh, so this is going to be, all right, so we're going to have 1.33. So power is equivalent to the effective tension times the velocity, the effective force times velocity, which is the effective force of 325 times the velocity of the belt, which is 15, is going to give us power in watts in this case, which is 4,875 watts. But we are given to convert this answer to kilowatts kilowatts in this case so kilowatts that's a thousand so we can divide by one thousand to convert to kilowatts so if we divide by one thousand it is going to be four comma eight seven five uh kilowatts in this case all right so that was the power uh that is needed that was needed in order uh for us to drive the water build in this case so i mean uh, uh, the power uh, transmitted in kilowatts. All right, the other part is uh, 1.4. Choose the correct word or words in, in the bracket or in the bracket in this case. Write only the word or words next to the question number from 1.4, okay? 1.41, uh, the energy the body possesses due to its motion is. So we are given due to its motion what well, that is there is a movement so this one is going to be kinetic energy when it is uh, at standstill where there is no movement that is the potential energy okay 1.42 the measure of how a force acting on an object causes the object to rotate if we are causing the rotate uh, the object to rotate that's the torque in this case remember that torque is equal to force times radius which is the force and times the radius from the axis of what? From the axis of rotation. So that's a torque there. 1.43, the quantity of matter the body possesses is called the quantity of matter a body possesses. So this is the mass. All right, so that is uh, what we have in this case. So the answer is supposed to be mass. It can't be force. Force mass times acceleration. No, that is weight density. Uh, which is something else. So the answer or the perfect answer there is mass. Okay, so that was our question on motion, power and energy having a total of uh, 16 marks, which is actually a lot in exam. So let's revise more questions uh, from past exam papers. Uh, prepare yourselves for exams which are ahead of time by revising more question papers. So for now, that's it from Amazon African Motives uh, till we meet again.